Oh, this is uh, the Thomas Farm fossil dig that we have going on. It's a great time. I mean, everyone should come out and experience, you know, have the chance to dig up 18.5 million year old fossils. I found a torus, which I didn't even recognize, and it wasn't whole, but uh, Jason got real excited about it. And if they found something big, they will, what they call, jacket it. They put like a plaster thing around it. So uh, that was my big find of my whole life. Most memorable find. Probably an alligator skull. There was a turtle on top of it there, and they told me to take out the turtle when I got done with it. I started finding some bones, started scraping around there, and I said, hey, what's this? And I said, oh, it may be a hip. And I dug a little further, and I said, your hip's got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out it was an alligator skull as well, like that. It's all relative. I think the most important thing was this tortoise that we found last year. It was the most complete uh, tortoise um, of the species Hespero testudo ted white eye that that is from this site. Um, most people would probably say that the big bear dog skull that we found last year was the most important thing. And uh, it was a really cool, I mean, it's one of the few skulls we have of that animal. And we also found last year, we found a great alligator skull um, that was in really good shape. And it's this little alligator called Alligator Olsenai, which is a dwarf alligator. Uh, they come out and they help us. They'll, they'll get a um, one meter by one meter square to work in for the day and they just slowly and patiently dig down into the square and hopefully expose bones for us. Um, and as they, as they find things, we help them out and tell them what, what we should, how we should handle it and how we should collect it. Um, some things are just, you know, dug out carefully and put in a bag. Other things, you know, more like the, the uh, skull on the tortoise that I told you about, um, those would be jacketed with a plaster jacket and then we would return that to the museum and slowly prep it under microscopes and um, in a controlled environment there. We have little little labels that have everyone's name on it, who, whoever, whichever square it came from, it gets the data that went with that square, and it says the person's name, who collected it, and um, on occasion when a new species is named, uh, sometimes it's named after actually some of the people who uh, helped dig up you know, some of these specimens. Today we found a piece of alligator skull that Suzanne found back there and she's working on. Um, we found a horse humerus, we found alligator teeth, found a horse tooth. And that's probably a raptor because it's so long and thin and mm -hmm. curved. Yeah. I want to find that tortoise. <laughs>